Officials within the military are investigating the Marines after an investigation did find a private Facebook page where members of the Marines were sharing salacious photos of women who are service members. Now some of these photos uh, were shared without the women knowing, some of them were taken secretly. And uh, there have been a number of news organizations, including the Center for Investigative Reporting that have done extensive coverage on this. And the results are not great. So hundreds of Marines are being investigated for using social media to solicit and share hundreds, possibly thousands of naked photos of women service members and veterans. The Center for Investigative Reporting found that since January 30th, more than two dozen women, including active duty and enlisted service members had been identified by their rank, full name, and military duty station in photographs posted and linked to a private Facebook page called Marines United. So the online activity was first posted by The War Horse, a nonprofit news organization run by Marine veteran and Purple Heart recipient Thomas Brennan. Now after he had posted about this story, he started getting uh, a number of death threats and you know all, all sorts of harassment. But this is an issue that actually doesn't surprise me because Issues involving sexual assault and rape in the military have been around for a long time. It was a big story back in 2012, and no one really did anything about it. It just got brushed under the rug. And so is it surprising that some members of the military would share salacious photos of female you know, service members or veterans and say terrible things about them? No surprise at all. I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but I'm beyond non-surprised. So. Naked pictures are shared all across the web. If you send a naked picture, by the way, to someone you think is gonna keep it private, they're not gonna keep it private. They're not, they're not, they're not. So it will be revealed and go online an enormous percentage of the time. So uh, this happens in the context of schools. This happens in the context of work. Mm -hmm. And now this is a different workplace, it's the military. So is it gonna happen in the military? Of course it is. And it is. Are people gonna put it online? Yes, like they do everywhere else. And then are people gonna to wanna to find out about it and develop some fantasies around it, etc.? Or if they work with that person, wanna search it and check out those pictures, of course they are. Now when I say of course, I don't mean that it should happen. I'm telling you what's gonna happen, okay? Yeah. And what happened in this case. So it's not, I, I wanna be clear that it's not just the Marines who are the only ones that are doing this. I know, okay. On the other hand, they have an extra responsibility mm -hmm. to take care of their own. And you know, you get taught all this about the core and how you stick up for one another until it's sexual and then you wanna see their naked pictures and then all of a sudden you're identifying them online. So I think it's important to uh, note that oftentimes when these types of stories come out, and, and it happened when there was a hack into the Apple cloud and someone got a hold or a group of hackers got a hold of celebrities and their nude photos and, and share that. A lot of people blame the celebrities. Don't take the nude photos, don't upload it to the cloud. It's insecure or it's not a secure uh, place to store it. It's their fault, it's their fault. But in this case, and I didn't agree with that criticism by the way, in this case, uh, it's not just photos that women might have shared privately with uh, a partner. It's also photos that were taken without the women's knowledge. So let me give you an example of that, okay? In one instance, a female corporal in uh, uniform was followed by a fel fellow Marine who surreptitiously, secretly photographed her as she picked up her gear. Those photographs were posted on the Facebook group Marines United. One member of the Facebook group suggested that the service member sneaking the photos should quote, take her out back and pound her out. Another person commented, and butthole and throat and ears, both of them video it though for science. Okay, very ironic Marines United. Uh, <laughs> because they are not united, mm -hmm. but in their mind, they're like, the ones that count are united. The ones that are real Marines, not the, not the girls. And so whether they're Marines or not, the girls don't count. They're to be you know, treated in this way. And that doesn't sound very united to me. And, and look guys, it's one thing when you're doing juvenile jokes amongst yourselves. It's another thing when you're doing it in public. And yes, Facebook is largely public. And it's a third thing when you are betraying people that you work with and your workplace is the Marines and, and then you put uh, secret uh, pictures you took of them online and then you all talk about how you'd like to do things to them. Well, I mean, no one who participated in this should come crying today 
and be like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I, they, I mean, what, violated your privacy? You're the ones who violated privacy. Uh, what, you guys were supposed to be, have each other's back, and this is what you did. So I assume they're all gonna turn themselves in and say, yes, we're guilty, and if they actually are, right? Mm -hmm. And say that they shouldn't have done it. But my guess is, no, they'll call themselves the victims, they'll cry and cry. I, I, I don't know how they're gonna react. Uh, I know that one person has already been uh, discharged from the military as a result of this. And after that had happened, uh, the Facebook page had been shut down. And then there were reports that it just moved to a different platform. And so that's why the Marine Corps is, is doing further investigations to figure out what's going on and who's involved in this. But this is a symptom of a much larger problem because again, as I mentioned, back in 2012, assaults and rapes in, in the military were a huge deal. And there were a number of women that were coming forward. And by the way, there are men in the military who are also sexually assaulted and raped, but no one does anything about that either. Uh, a number of women came forward and tried to get something done about it because the way that uh, members of the military report it is not effective. You report it to your higher ups within your rank, and in that case, you know that person is usually willing to look out for the person who sexually assaulted or raped someone. So, guys, nobody is saying that you can't find women attractive and want to have sex with them or have fantasies about them. They're saying that it's a very bad idea to say that about people you work with and to say it publicly. Especially if you're in the Marines and your job is to protect one another's lives and not to betray one another. That should be crystal clear. Also, one other thing, and I thought this was an interesting um, point of view that I didn't even consider. So the Justice Department is concerned about this because it could lead to members of the military getting blackmailed, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's actually a risk to national security. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Yeah, you're disrespecting individuals, you're violating their privacy in some cases, you're basically treating them like crap and talking about doing all this questionable sexual stuff to them. But there's also other ramifications of this behavior that could impact your ability to do your job in the military. I think there's some chance we're over explaining this. It's clearly a horrible thing to yeah. do. You can help hire investigative reporters that'll chase down stories no one else will. Be the media, tytnetwork.com slash go.